welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha, and this is my husband, Gerard. If you're new, but if you're returning, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. It means the world to us. In today's video, we have a jammed, packed, informative video for you if you're doing your spring cleaning. In today's video, it is. 2021 spring edition clean with me 10 must clean objects and areas in your home so if you're anything like our family you're probably spring cleaning but there's certain areas and objects that you should probably be touching on and in this video we will let you know all those areas and objects so if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that bell so that whenever we do post a video you know and give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado Let's get it. That's it right there. testing everything in your home while you're spring cleaning? If not, you definitely should be. Dust consists of a lot of nasty stuff like dander, skin cells, and dust mite poop. With all the windows being closed all throughout the winter, pretty gross, right? Better go pick up that Swifter or microfiber cloth and get to dusting right now. FYI, I have new videos dropping every Monday and Thursday. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm still struggling to find a perfect time to be able to post my videos, but you can rest assured that I will definitely have a new video on every Monday and every Thursday. wiping down your blinds? If not, then they may either be covered in dust, grubby little fingerprints if you have small kids, and or soot. If you burn candles, especially if you don't trim your wick, you may have soot all over your blinds. Just lift them up and look underneath. If you don't know about trimming your candles, check out my kitchen hacks. Just click the link right above. wiping down your windows. Now I know that we're not opening our windows because it's still cold outside, but let me tell you, your windows can be covered in dust even if you do not see them. Get a cloth and wipe down those windows. You will be surprised what comes off of them. And then not to mention if you do open your windows, look at that window track. It may not be that bad, but I promise you it will get that bad when it starts getting warmer so you might as well go ahead and start cleaning it now and you know that you can't take another day oh that's not okay 
Number four, are you wiping down your walls, baseboard, and trim? If not, you probably should be. They can collect dust just like any other area or object in your home and all you have to simply use is hot water, dish soap, and a microfiber cloth. If you do not follow me on Instagram or you are not a part of my Facebook family, I would love for you to come on over and say hi on Instagram. I do do clips of the videos and keep you just updated on what's going on with the channel as well as behind the scenes. And then on Facebook as well, I do keep everyone updated on my channel and I do do giveaways here and there. So definitely come join my family, come say hi, and let's have fun together. Number five, do you have a gas fireplace? If so, when is the last time that you actually opened it and cleaned behind the glass? With us using our fireplace so much during the winter, we definitely need to open it up and give it a good cleaning. What a professional has told me about cleaning these particular fireplaces are not to use glass cleaner that has ammonia in it. So this is where my glass cleaner, good old water and vinegar comes in great. While this is the third episode in my spring series, it is never too late to catch up. The first episode consisted of me spring cleaning and decorating my home. The second episode consisted of me deep cleaning my kitchen for spring. So if you would like to catch up on my spring series, th these are what the thumbnails look like, or you could go down to the description box and simply click the links that I have provided. this your spring reminder step number six make sure that you are deep cleaning your couch if you have small kids like I do then I know that you can find the most random things in those couches so make sure you lift off those cushions and get deep in there suck up all those crumbs with the vacuum and then go right behind it with that carpet cleaner and give your couches a good thorough clean and you will be surprised how much dirt we have been sitting on this entire time feeling high feeling so right then I'm wrong hoping I'll be fine but I get up I always do I never think I always do never thought I wouldn't jump oh what a fool but if I fall I would get up again
Number seven, make sure that you're changing out your air filter. You don't need to do it every month, but you should be doing it just about every three to six months. Number eight, sometimes we forget to clean our fans and our light fixtures, but these are two items in our home that we do use just about every day or every other day, and they need to be dusted as well in addition with any other area or object in our home. So make sure you do not forget to give those some TLC. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't want to be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna And number nine, as you know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I am constantly talking about having to clean my TV in our home because of our kids. Even if you do not have kids, or even if you do, then you already know what I'm talking about. But TVs are a must, apart from being spring or spring cleaning, we must always clean our TVs because that is one of the things you do not want guests to see is a grimy, nasty TV. Behind, find myself, I'm gonna start over new Yeah, I'm on my way now and lastly, number 10, always making sure that you deep clean your floors are a must. So I'm talking scrubbing your floors, vacuuming your carpet, and then of course, giving your carpets, your rugs, a good carpet cleaning with your carpet cleaner. Um, we have off-white rugs and the way that we keep our rugs looking clean is by constantly going over them with a carpet cleaner about every six months. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up my video. I hope that you enjoyed the 10 cleaning areas and objects that you must do for your spring cleaning 2021. Again, if you are not following me on Instagram or you are not a part of my Facebook family, then please come join us. Say hi. We would love to have you. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please do so. We would love for you to join our YouTube family. Hit that bell so that when I continue to post our videos for this spring series, then you will know. And of course, please give this video a big thumbs up. We would always greatly appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.